Nilma, Nilma, no? Ah, uh, Nilma, there is a... Nilma. Okay. I am ready. Goodbye, Cheryl. Goodbye, Norgis. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, internet! <laughs> it's quarter to eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here at Pangong Lake in Ladakh, India. I just left uh, the homestay where I stayed the night. The plan for today is to ride back uh, to Leh, but I don't actually know yet what my route will be. <laughs> there are basically three routes possible and uh, I just uh, I haven't decided. <laughs> I thought let's just see how it goes, how the road condition is, how far I can go. So I'm now riding parallel to Pangong Lake. I'm super high by the way, I didn't uh, realize that, but I'm now at 4,350 meters altitude. It's actually the highest saltwater lake in the world. It stretches for 160 kilometers and one third is uh, in India and the other two-thirds are in China. So the border between India and China goes through Pangong Lake. So obviously I cannot ride the full length of the lake because I can't go into China. Last night there was actually hail. <laughs> they were only very small, but there were like tiny little hailstones that were falling. But now it's gone again with the sun out. It's actually not even that cold. Also, my visor is super dirty. All the dust. Is this better? Yeah, this is better. I've just passed the next town, which is here. And I just gotta look back because I'm facing the sun directly. So actually, the best views on the lake are from the other side. Amazing. Wow, look at that. I had to stop again. Look at the color of the water there. Unbelievable. I mean, I suppose there's not a lot of fish here. I actually don't know. I wouldn't think so. A saltwater lake at this altitude. But it really is inviting to go snorkeling there. <laughs> I have no idea how am I supposed to cross those mountains at some point. They are extremely tall and super ragged.
to her seat. It's okay. Hi there. I think these are actually like these little mixed breeds between cows and yak. See how furry they are. I think they also have a name, but I can't remember. When they mix yak with cow. See, they also have long tails, like yak. Let's see if I can buy some water here. Find the monster. Is it open? Looks closed. Oh, maybe over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you want? I'm uh, looking for water. What? Funny. Water. 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 Okay, how much water? Uh, three liter. Three liter, okay. Yeah. Why are you now boy? Everywhere are you roaming? Everywhere I'm roaming. I see, yeah. And this time, where are you going? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> You already gone to Pangung Lake? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, happy it's, journey. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Sonam Tashi. Happy uh, journey. Uh, Sonam Tashi. Oh, Sonam Tashi. My Sonam name is tachi. Sonam Tashi. Nice, nice, <laughs> <to meet> <laughs> okay, nice, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Would you like some water? I have some left over. It's okay. It doesn't fit anymore. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I have water again. You know what I see? Uh, it's too far away for you, I'm sure. But right over there, there's a whole herd of these wild Ladakhi donkeys. They're really cool. They have white legs and like a brown body. And they're really big. They're much bigger than normal donkeys. Can you see them? There's a whole group of them. There, there, there. You see them? Do you see them? There's a whole bunch of them. There they are. The color of the grass is just unreal. It's honestly bright, bright orange. Oh wow, look at those birds. What are those? They're huge. Some sort of crane birds, I suppose. This is supposed to be the road to Mahe. Wow! Amazing, right? I just came from down there. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, this is the homeland of the Himalayan, right? These are its mountains. Here is the top. See if I can see a sign. Because I, I like to know how high I am, but no sign. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, here's another lake. Look at that. Oh, isn't that color just unbelievable?
17,851 feet, rank 8. I made a little bit of a mistake because originally my plan was to take another road which is pretty much straight after Pangong Lake immediately go back to Lei that was my original plan and so I thought oh I have plenty of fuel so when I just before I reached Pangong Lake I saw a fuel station and I was like ah it's not necessary I'll easily make it back to Lei and then last night I was studying the map and I thought hmm why don't I go a bit further and take this road? <laughs> Which I am super happy I did. But uh, fuel-wise, I'm suddenly thinking, I don't know if I'm actually gonna make that. Wow, I've just come over another pass. <laughs> and there's another lake. This must be Mahe. I think I'm there. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, is there any fuel here in Mahe? Sorry? Uh, petrol. Petrol pump? Yeah. You can ask look, look like. Even I'm not aware. Okay. Wait, wait, I'll tell you. Okay, thank you. There is a petrol pump in Neoma. It is... Uh, 14 kilometers from here. 14. 14. 12 to 14 kilometers. Okay, there's one. Cause, cause this way is to Lay, right? Ha, this is the this way goes to Lay. And then for that to Lay. How many kilometer to to Lay? Lay. It would be around, uh, I believe, 200 kilometers. Ah. No, then I must first fill yeah, up. You should go to Neoma. Neoma, na? Ah, Neoma. There is a. Neoma. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, well then I am going first this way because uh, otherwise I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> so, ah well, doesn't matter. This is starting here too. I've now basically reached a bigger road. I think this one, not sure where this goes to. To Moriri maybe. But uh, 14 kilometers, so that's 17, 16. Then I'd rather just go 14 k's, fill up, and then I have all the petrol in the world. Wow, what a big smooth road. <laughs> the colors here are amazing, right? Look at all the purple. It's amazing. Hi, excuse me. Uh, do you know petrol station? Petrol. Here? Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sorry, um, is there anywhere petrol? Yeah, yeah. You have? In a bottle? Five liter? Yeah? Yeah, Maju, Maju. Over to you. Come here. 
alphabets. Okay, I have fuel. <laughs> I have more than enough fuel now to make it to Lay. So that's perfect. Whoop, whoop. Colors are unbelievable, right? There's so much army, it's almost as if Ladakh is just one big military base. Should I go right through the town? It's called Teris Kudung. I mean, I'm not sure where this leads to, but let's have a little bit of a look. Wow, oh, that's where I was riding before, down below. Difference, eh? Oh, this goes all the way. I don't know where this goes. According to Google Maps, there's nothing here. So, where does this go to? It's all the way up there. I see a house. I see a house. This must be it, no? Oh, look here. Unbelievable. Chule! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? Holland! Netherland. <laughs> you are from here? Yeah, my house. Your house? Yeah. Good. All right. I go lay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Alright, I am almost back in Ley. It is uh, seven kilometers to go, but it's already very busy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Um, in the next video, I am going to ride to another part of the Himalayas, which might be my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm super excited about it. Uh, but for now, pretty tired. It was a really long day. It's now 4.30. I don't even know how many kilometers I did. 370, is that possible? Not sure. I'm gonna find a place to stay and then uh, call it a night. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I will see you in the next video.